Hey everybody, here I am again now uh, fixing a, a set of towels. Now this is you know, these are bath towels. Okay, uh, not that old neither. Um, both of these are the same because they have the same uh, tag as the tag that's over on that far end over there. Alright, the thing is this is a pair. This is in perfect order. No rips, no nothing. What happened here, I have no idea. It looks like something got a hold of it. And look at the fraying all the way around. I mean, it's it's a disaster all the way around this thing. So I'm going to have to do a repair on every corner, every edge of this. Now, uh, the other one I showed you um, folding over once and folding over again. What we're going to do on this, I've fixed up plenty of them in my house already. Uh, this uh, I'm going to show you. And um, I'm going to use uh, two stitches. One is going to be a straight stitch to hold it down. Another one is going to be uh, two or three zigzag on the machine. I have an industrial machine that I'm using with this. It's a Nikki, all right, uh, because it's a thicker, thicker uh, fabric. All right, you're going to need a, a good heavy-duty uh, needle to do the thicker towels. All right, so uh, it's uh, very easy to do. These things can get kind of expensive. That's why I'm, I'm making these videos. And uh, it's a nice way to, to uh, use up your time if you have nothing to do like I do. And I suffer a couple of problems like uh, depression and it just keeps me going. But I'm going to actually cut this all off and then hem above that toward right about, right about in here. It'll take a little of the towel away, but it's going to look a lot better and probably last a lot longer. It's going to be hard to fix that little hole if I didn't do that. All right, and after you trim everything off, including that big piece that has the hole, well, now we can go through the hemming, and uh, now, now it looks pretty good all the way around. All right, so we have to hem it so it's not going to shed any, uh, you know, fray anymore. So let's take it to the sewing machine. All right, I'm going to do this to show you what I'm going to do on the corner, so we can get through that, and then I'm going to do the rest, and then bring you back when I do the uh, diagonal, uh, the zigzag. All right, I have on a straight stitch. You want to be in the center of of the the area. Uh, as you're stitching. Okay, when you get to the end here, have the needle in the down position. You want to roll this over toward it. Okay, this is going to be tough to actually crawl over. All right, so uh, you need an industrial machine to actually do this. I'm going to lift the, the shoe so I can get this underneath. I'm going to use a pair of scissors to hold it into place. All right, so remember you don't want the needle hitting that pair of scissors. So put the bale down, hold this into place, and when the needle gets up to it, you need to move it out of the way. And there it is. So now what you do is uh, have the needle back in the down position, all right, and then rotate. Don't put too much tension on that needle. Rotate it around, and then you fold this down. See how I have this uh, this right here? We're going to snip that off, or we could tuck it under when we're, when we're doing it. All right, and then put this down. And it starts, and now sometimes you'll have to use a pair of scissors or something to get this up underneath. All right, and jam that in there. All right, so make sure you're on relatively a 90 degree angle. And this might be the side that I actually cut. It looks like it's pretty short distance between in here, so this is probably the part I cut. All right, and then just hit, hit that. You might have to shove it. I shoved it under it to get it going. All right. And just do that all the way around. When we get to this tough part here, it might be a little tough getting through it. Let's zip on through and see what happens. Okay, it's not moving very much, so I gotta grab it from the other side. Alright. Alright, because there's the feet aren't grabbing and it is stitching, so it's doing good. So uh, you can do it do a single stitch all the way around, then we're gonna come back and do the zigzag. All right, now I have it set to double stitch, or uh, not double stitch, but uh, crisscross. Uh, I'm going to have a pair, pair uh, of the knife right here to push it underneath. I like starting on this end and then uh, ending on this end. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, run it in. Got to hold this so it doesn't feed it up. Okay, hold this and push, push it underneath. I'm going to back up now to, re to reinforce that. All right. So that's about where you want your needle because what we want to do is we want to, this is, this is the fur that's up. This is the fur that's up. We want to go over that fur at the same time go over the stitch that we just put down to reinforce that stitch. So lift the shoe up, bring it around gently so we're not bending the ne needle and breaking the needle. All right, and then right there. Now we might have to put on an angle because I see we're not going to hit the, 
the stitch, put the veil back down, and you might have to push it to get it started because it's on the end. So just push it, and it starts. All right, so run it down. Okay, and I'm going to show you. See how it's uh, coming up in there? And that's what you want. We want to get all this down. So when you go over it, you look at it afterwards, and it's all flat and down. So that's pretty sweet. Do that all the way around, and it's going to look really nice afterwards. I see, I just changed my bobbin out, but I want to show you. I don't know if you can see the cross stitching that I'm doing. Okay, but uh, you can see this is pretty much down where, where my finger is. This is all up. So when you do your stitching, you want to go over the existing one and then have the other side of the cross stitching go down over these so that it stays matted down. So all along here, all along here is pretty much down, all right, and it will stop the fraying and other fabric from coming undone. So just keep continuing. I'm almost done with this and I'll show you when it's all finished. So this is the stuff that came off and here's the finished product. I folded it to where you can see all the hems. It looks kind of jagged but that's okay. That's because of the texture that you're seeing. Those aren't going to be coming off. Okay and it looks really good all the way around. This is original so I reinforced it all the way around so it's not going to come up. So it's got a, uh, the cross stitch all the way across. If you have something like this just snip it off. Okay, I should have got that when I looked it over. So, hey, subscribe to a whole lot more videos. That's going to save a couple of bucks when you go to replace it. All right? Take care. Bye.